guys came out ready to go. We had a real physical day and won't be quite as physical, more Simon oriented this afternoon then. Is that kind of the plan throughout those early practices, get after them a little bit more in the morning? Yeah, and then give them, you know, lighten up on their legs a little bit in the afternoon. Still go hard, but maybe not quite as physical in terms of how we approach it. Coach, the other day you said you were about 90, 95% just, uh, along and installing the defense. I mean, are you pretty much done with that at this point? Yeah, we're in. We've got our whole package in. and. Um, you know, different days. I'm trying to focus in on different aspects of it, and maybe maybe lean towards a certain place. But it's all in, and and uh, just honing it up now. Is it faster than usual for that? Yeah, probably a week ahead of where we've ever been at this point. But the guys, you know, they know the system better. They're more experienced with it, and they you know, they've picked it up fast, and they're handling it pretty well. Still some bus out there, but we'd rather correct it full speed than than teach it on the chalkboard. You know what I mean? How much does a week ahead give you a chance to get you know? That Oh yeah, I mean it gets you know a lot. You get the whole defense in, then you're allowed. To, you got time to get into your checks and your special stuff that you typically don't get into before game week. We're already into some of our checks and some of our adjustments that that we, you know, in the past we hadn't gotten to until the week of the first game. So we are ahead. How much do those veterans, you know, help out with the install, kind of helping out the young guys in line? I mean, does that kind of Accelerate the process a little bit for you Yeah, guys. a lot. I mean, we kind of have that buddy system going where they're watching the younger guys out there. They're talking them through their mistakes. And even in the meeting room, you see them, you know, a lot of veterans sitting with the new rookies. And, and you know, when a coach is explaining something, he's answering questions for them and making sure they understand it. So our leadership's been great among the veterans. Stafford hasn't had a lot of time on campus. How's he, how's he fit in the He's uh, picking it up really fast, and it's amazing how, how well he's playing, how much you know he does understand. And you know, I knew that you know when I was recruiting him that you know, what they did out there, coverage-wise, was you know not the same, but conceptually pretty advanced for a junior college. So he came in with a lot of background knowledge, just applying it to how we do it. Hey Carl, what do you attribute to the success you guys have had with those JC guys? Just being very selective, you know. I mean, uh, we we fill needs, so you don't, you know, you, you don't, you're not really looking to just wholesale recruit junior college. But if you see a need, maybe you need some maturity at a certain position. Those are the guys you look at. But you're not just going to take anybody. At, you know, all the guys we've gotten have been very mature guys, able to handle the the grind and the structure and. Um, that's not always the case, so it just takes time to, to get to know them in the recruiting process and make sure they're going to fit in. How's this uh, defensive? I know you have this spring with the two new coaches, and you know Ross well, obviously, mm -hmm. but, but how do you see that staff kind of gelling together? Is it still take some time? No, I mean, we're, we're all on the same page now and just going strong. I really like the way we're developing our techniques and how it's all fitting together. It's been, been really a, a nice uh, camp in that regard, working with those guys. Yeah, we're very good friends. I respect him a lot as a coach. And he's very high energy, and uh, you know he's doing a great job with the linebackers. I can already see see it um, starting to affect how they play. Is there any position that surprised you at all throughout camp so far? Uh, not not surprised, but you know I could name guys at every position that have really stepped up. You know, young guys you weren't sure how they were going to take and. Um, you know, our interns, our strength staff did a great job over the summer. The older guys did a great job over the summer coaching them up. And it was amazing just day one how advanced we were um, just from the summer drills and, and the veterans coaching the, the young guys through those drills. And the knowledge of our coverages and our, and our blitz package was, was they were very advanced for a, for a first day. Hey, Cam, Cam's got, you know, a pretty good sum of hold of one DM position. You've got a lot of guys battling at that other one. Where's that competition at? Um, nobody's separating themselves, but not because they're not playing well, just because they're all playing well. And, you know, we don't, you know, the more depth you get there, the more creative you can be. You can move Cameron around, you can move Jared around, and um, it's great. I mean, we do have great depth at, at tackle and at the end spot, and trying a lot of different combinations in different situations that are going to make us more physical at times and, and faster and better pass rushers at times. So. so when Bo talks about, hey, they got to, you know, Big Ten teams got to prepare for some of our stuff too, that's 
that's part of it, right? That you guys yeah, can you know us. We're always we're very flexible, and we're in the getting good matchups that advantage that, that give us the advantage. And, you know, the more guys, the more depth you have with different styles of play, the more you're able to do that. And that's true in the secondary, linebackers, and up front. How's Sean Fisher been moving around after that injury last year? Sean, you see, you know, he's a little, little slowed in the spring, but this fall, yeah, I haven't seen any effects of, of the injury. He looks 100% to me. How big of a boost is that just to have him back and an additional linebacker? Yeah, it's it's huge. Him and you know having him and Will there and healthy and we, they've been playing very well together. And those three are all on the same page. And just getting more leadership in that room, you know, has, has been good for us as well. When people say Sean's kind of a tweener that he doesn't necessarily have a perfect position, is that is that true or no? I, like I think he's tailor made to be a buck backer. He's got great length. <clears throat> he can move in space because he was a safety. And he's physical enough to handle the run. That's exactly what you look for when you recruit that position. Coach Terrence Moore seems like he's always been a high energy, skill position guy that just hasn't had a spot on the field. I mean, how does that change this year? And are you excited to potentially see him out there? Terrence Moore? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's another, you know, he's one of those guys fighting for reps at the tackle spot. And again, we plan on playing a lot of guys and rolling a lot of guys through, especially early in the season, keeping us fresh later in the year. So. Um, he's an important part of it, and and there's certain things that we do that that quite frankly Terrence is as good as anybody at, and there's certain things he needs to work on like everybody else. So, you know, situationally we've, with that depth, you know, you, you use him in different ways and you use the other guys. So, it gives you a lot of flexibility. Always going back to that, having a lot of flexibility with your personnel. A year ago at this time, you know, Austin Cassidy was getting the scholarship. He's a little bit under the radar, but. Coach Raymond talking about him just a couple days ago. That his growth in the last year. Just yeah, he's he's playing very well, and, and and not just playing well, but leading well, uh, commanding the defense out there, checking the coverages, getting people lined up. He's a uh, he's a great asset to us. You know, he's uh, he's a very good football player. Not under the radar anymore. That's for right. sure.